beautiful people, welcome back to another Total War Tiller replay. Now, my last replay, I told you guys I had a pretty good match coming in for you guys. It was very close, and this is that match. Between me playing as the Saxons and my opponent playing as the Eastern Roman Empire. Oh god, Taurus Hill, don't crash. Please, ah, there you go. Alright, in today's battle, I, playing as the Saxons, have brought five elite Nordic warrior. I just coughed right in the mic. And five Gesethas, and a chieftain as get through as my general. Now I gotta say, the Saxons almost always bring this guy, mainly to the fact that he, unlike the other general, many of the other generals in the game, has pretty good melee stats and really good defensive. Well, I don't have a good defensive, but he's actually suitable to use as a line unit. I brought four Nordic horse swords, two on each flank, and I brought three Nordic bows. Really, I only brought these guys just because I need to have something in case something happens. My opponent, who I think brought a very nice build, although he was a bit weak in the melee line, although that's probably what, what he was not relying on. Four Fundatores, three Comitatense Spears, three Eastern Armored Legio, two Hetarie Guards, uh, five Tegmata, I believe. No, four Tegmata. Two Cataphractari and a Magister Militum as his general. Now I immediately was thinking, oh crap. This is not good. Mainly because my melee line will demolish his however cavalry wise, I am in danger, because Tagmata and Nordic Horse Swords do not mix well for me. And then with the Cataphractari I've thrown in there, I am in trouble. My only hope is that I can get him to come to me. So that my melee units can, um, can engage him. Because I cannot win a cavalry battle. Or, alternately, if I do go to him, I get him to come close to this cavalry and I'm able to use some of my melee units. Now, he brings some of his Nordic bows, well, I bring, use my Nordic bows in, and I start seeing him fire at the Fundatores. And I knew pretty much immediately that I was going to lose all of these Nordic bows. To the point, I didn't even bother putting them in, um, putting them in loose formation. However, the idea dawns on me eventually that the Hitarie guards, if I'm going to cause any damage to my Nordic bows, the Hitarie guards are over here, and I may as well fire upon them. As these guys, are, they're dangerous, they don't have any shields, and it's going to be much, much harder for him to hurt me. Now, while some of those shots are hitting my line infantry, my line infantry have pretty good shields, pretty good armor and health, so they're like they might get damaged, but not going to get hurt. That much. I decide that you know what, I need to cause as much damage with these Nordic bows as I can, so I go straight in for the Hitarie guards. That is my only chance of causing some damage with these Nordic bows. I was thinking about using the, the flaming shot on the cavalry, how I was kind of scared that that might cause him to engage and I don't want him to. Now he does move his Klinabari up just- oh he actually had one Klinabari and one Cataphractari, my apologies. Now he does start using his Klinabari, using his the arrows that come with him, although they only have two shots. You, actually using him is not a terrible idea. Now he starts moving his Tegmata apart from his Klinabari and I said, you know, no, this is my moment. So I start repositioning my cavalry, and I start bringing over one of my Gethesas, and I believe I do that on each flank. Yep, there we go, other one coming across. Because I'm thinking, if I can engage him where I want him to be, because we're decently close to my main line, my Gethesas can't engage, and they will flip the tide of the battle, even though I have less cavalry. And I'm thinking, I need to charge this Klinabari. This Klinabari will be the end of me if I cannot kill it. So will the Hitarie Guard. And the, um, and the Cataphractari, although my elite Nordic warriors can cause a bit of damage to the Tarie guards. Alright, here we go, I get the charge, and I luckily get a charge right on the Klinabari, and this was probably one of the most important parts of the match. Over here, I must have caught him when he was micro- yep, I think I caught him when he was marking somewhere else, because there you go, I can engage this one. And then my Gethesis start charging, now- all the Saxons range, like higher ranged, um, higher ranking melee units, they throw axes instead and they deal a lot more damage. And actually because my Gethesos were spread apart like this, the glo big glob of Tagmata didn't really charge through all of them that much. So a little over half of them were able to run it completely unscathed from that charge and go right into the battle. 
I am really sorry for the FPS issues, guys. I do not know why. Nordic Horse Lord's over here. There's not really... Eventually, he do, I do start being the same. Now, I start throwing my main line into it because I know I will win that fight. Now, over here, a Hitari Guard and an Elite Nordic Warrior do start the trade, trade blows. Now, I know the Elite Nordic Warriors are going to are gonna fall. They will act, They will still cause some damage to the Hitari Guard. And as you see over here, we are starting the gauge, although this time I was not able to get the first charge off. Over here, our main lines are starting to crash. Now, sadly, this Komi Tensei Spear, it, what in the name was went on right there? Now, this Komi Tensei Spear is able to reinforce against this Nordic Horse Lord, and that I was a bit scared of. Now, this Tagmata is fighting this Gethesis. Oh, they've killed a lot of them, but they haven't killed many Tagmata. They are holding them off, which is what I need them to do. As Gethesis are very defensive units. Now, my Nordic Horse Lords over here are cleaning the floor with this Klinabari. Now, my chief team with Gethurt, I kind of start getting him out of the open here, and they completely chew through that um, elite Nordic warrior. Elite Nordic warrior killed a few of them. This Gethesa, however, does come in. And I believe I pop him. Um, whatever the defensive ability for most melee infantry is. Here, Komi Tensei Spear falling. Other Komi Tensei Spear are falling. Now, I see his Master Militum over here, and I'm thinking, this is my key to winning. It is possible I can win without this. As, my me as I do have a chance with most of my melee warriors, however, if I can get his general, that will be so much more valuable. Now, he gets a good charge with his Magister Militum on my um, Elite Nordic Warriors, and that was a good good idea on his part. I would have done that, too. Really, I am relying on the fact that, alright, this Gethside needs to chew through this Komi Tensei Spear fast enough. And I decided that, you know what, I may at some point have to throw in my Chieftain of the Get Hurt, and it might have to be against the Satari Guard, which I was a bit afraid of. Even though they're a bit low on me men, they're still dangerous. My last Nordic bow does start shooting some pop shots into the Hitari Guards, and even if they do not kill many of them, they are still causing damage, which is really the important part. I decided, you know what, if he's going to charge me, I might as well charge him the same. I was ideally trying to use them to assist back here, however, necessity overcame necessity. And so, that most certainly is not the saying, even if it is one, what I just said. So I decided, you know what, time to charge in. Chiefs in the get they have 175 health, they are not going down very easily against this Hattari Guard. To the point where I even start kill. Hattori Guard starts getting killed off, probably due to the sheer numbers that Nordic Boat does shatter pretty much immediately after it engages an enemy. Now, he does charge me with Slingers and a Komi Tensei Spear against my Gethesas. However, the Gethesas are just too, ma they're just too defensively oriented. Over here, I'm finally able to kill this Hattori Guard. And I'm thinking that, alright, if I can free up a unit somewhere else and kill off this Magister Militum, because it's going to take a long time for my Gethesas to kill them off, I will be in the clear. Over here, my um, chief of the get her is starting to engage my this Eastern Armored Legio, and again, they are actually fighting them off pretty well. One thing that scared me a lot was that this, this um, Gethesos was engaging this Tegmata in the Comitensis Spear, but good on him. He pulled out the Tegmata to use it somewhere else, because you know the Comitensis Spear will hold him off somewhere else. And this is where I got very, very afraid of a back charge killing my general and ending the match for me. Over here, I'm able to pull. <coughs> sorry for that. I'm able to pull through my um, tagmata, my two Gethesas to engage the Tagmatas. Because melee cavalry can be defeat melee infantry if they get the charge off, and it's not too too defensively oriented. However, if melee infantry is just just to regularly engage, you are going to get crushed. Now, one of my Nordic horse lords actually did come back, and he pulled out his Tagmata cavalry. To engage, I would not have done that. I actually would have pulled, still pulled the Tegmata out, but used it to go around. I would have just ignored the Nordic Course Lord. Over here, you can see my chief of the Getter is not only not dying, but is killing off both the Eastern. Had a Mike Tyson moment there. Eastern Armored Legio and the Tegmata Cavalry. Over here, my Gethesas are finally pulling off against this Komi Tensei Spear. I'm thinking at this point, I can win this now. 
at this point, a little bit ago, I, just, I figured out that I could, but now I'm pretty sure I will win this. This was really, really close. This could have gone either way. So could have the last game I did it with me as the Gar Mansions. Oh, I cut his head off. So yeah, very, very close match. Magister Militum held off for quite a long time, but as you can see, it's just it's just come up to an end. All right, guys. So um, he quit, but since it was a multi match, match, it just counted as a draw. Me and him, we both GG'd out. That was a really nice game. I enjoyed playing with him. So guys, I have another match for you. Which will be the next one. And that one involves the Antians and their Poison Hunters. And I'll be completely honest. It wasn't really a fair match. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.